Vallejo. Nice to be in crumps all, isn't it? Everybody. <laughs> I've just been on my holidays to Amsterdam. Has anybody been? Yeah. How do you remember? That's what I want to know. I have to check my diary. When, where was I that week? Oh, Amsterdam, yeah. Seriously beautiful drugs problem over there, isn't it? If you ever go book a week in Amsterdam and two weeks in the Betty Ford clinic afterwards, I think. <laughs> you play spot the tourist over there, everybody running to work, have all the tourists going... <laughs> oh, my God. I think I've died to come back as a tortoise. <laughs> I'm going to kill those people that sold me that stuff. The only problem with going to Amsterdam is you've got to come back and explain how you've spent £10,000 in two days, haven't you? <laughs> That's the killer, isn't it? You see them all on the ferry going, what the hell am I going to tell them? It was the Anne Frank Museum. It was very, very expensive to get in. <laughs> £10,000 to get in. But she was a remarkable woman, you know. Died when she was 14. I thought £10,000 was a lot, but I'm prepared to pay it for that kind, of, <laughs> that kind of heroic bravery. I saw all these people on bikes when I was there, and I thought, I really fancy getting fit, you know, so I sort of bought myself a bike when I came back. But I forgot that Amsterdam is like that, and England is like that, right? And my bottom is killing me now. Though, so it's all battered and bruised and everything. I reckon if the Orkney Island social worker saw my bottom, I'd be taken into care, do you know what I mean? <laughs> my mum would be saying, no, he sat on a chopper. Did he? Did he? You'll be down the station yourself then, won't you? Seriously, it's all battered and bruised. You don't need a backlight on a bike. You just drop your trousers like that. People are going, oh, he's got his fog lights on. Jesus Christ. I cycled to Chester Zoo and two baboons tried to chat me up. Do you know what I mean? I was walking like that going, oh, my God. They were going, hey, hot lips. Going, Get lost. Show us your plums. <laughs> I haven't got any plums, and if I had them, I wouldn't show them you. I used to hate cyclists, didn't you? When I was in a car, I used to, like... The only ones I liked were the ones that had a big sort of red reflector thing that came out of the bike, about ten foot, wasn't it? The width of a bus they made themselves then, you know. They were really good, because if you made a plastic, you could knock them off without damaging your paintwork. You know? <laughs> I got myself a bell on the bike as well, because that scares people to death, doesn't it? A bell. <laughs> really useful. Bus cuts you up, you go, I'm going to do this bloke now. <laughs> dring, dring. <laughs> dring, dring. Let that be a lesson to you. Don't try that again. It's bloody useless. The bloke designed that must have had really acute hearing, wasn't it? Ding, ding, Jesus Christ! That's too loud. I want those things to get on lorries. Who the hell's that? They're giving police bikes now, aren't they? Can't. Let's just hope the robbers turn up on hoop and sticks, don't they? <laughs> Cruising for a chase, you know. The cobbler's like, ah, ding, ding. <laughs> But I tried all things to get fit, you know. I went swimming, which is quite good, but swimming reminds me of when I was at my school swimming lessons. It was my first ever sexual experience, and I can't get it out of my head, you know. We'd all go running down to the swimming pool, and we'd reach, like, this big Veruca washing pool, you know. <laughs> like, nobody'd go in that for some reason, wouldn't you? You'd rather swing across on someone's underpants than go in there. Excuse me, I'm not going in there. It's full of pubic hair and toenails. I'm not going in there. Except one kid who was really hard to drink it for two bob, you know. <laughs> 50 pence if it had a plaster in it, that kind of thing. Isn't it? <laughs> Here's a human eye in here. I'll do that for a quid. <laughs> and then what I used to do is I used to dive in at the deep end, right, swim to the shallow end. Not because I want to be the fastest swimmer or anything. I just want to be first to press my genitals against that blowy water thing at the end. <laughs> right? Pretend I was having a rest. <laughs> knackered, I am knackered. I'm going to be here an hour. Easy. <laughs> oh, I can't get up. <laughs> I don't think I want to. <laughs> My swimming lessons were designed to humiliate me. I don't know if you had this in your school, but if you, if you didn't turn up in your trunks, you had to do it in your underpants. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, great, we've got school swimming lessons. I forgot my trunks. Check me underpants. Oh, no. White nylon. Jeez. <laughs> With a map of the Caribbean in yellow in the front. Well, that's what I'm going to tell them anyway. <laughs> and they're me dads as well. Because I used to wear my dad's underpants. Mum would say, put your dad's on, nobody will notice. And I'd put them on and go, shit, school swimming lessons. They're like, it's big underpants. Like, need braces to keep them up. You know I mean? I'd be swimming, it'd take me about nine hours to get to the other end. Like, big dragnet behind me. All the kids, I got banned from the swimming pools for catching too many dolphins in my underpants. You know I mean? Today, you, out. You've got your quota. I want you, away. 
One thing I did see in Amsterdam was um, I went into all these shops looking for the Anne Frank Museum. I couldn't find it, right? There's loads of shops, red lights, everything. I asked, I couldn't find it. They always keep you talking, don't they? Always keep you talking. I saw this big bank of blow up dolls in there, right? And I've, I've seen them in England, but I, I saw them and I thought, they're sexy looking things, aren't they? The bloke that designed them knew exactly what he was talking about. You've got to be pretty hard up to buy a plastic bag with a face painted on it, haven't you, really? So I bought one and. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen these things, right? I wouldn't ask you to confess if you had, but there's no hands and fingers on them, right? Stumps. That's all you get. A couple of bloody stumps. You go, who have you modelled this on? An Iraqi bloody shoplifter? What else going on here? And you can buy them with real hair. It says, get them with real hair. It's not real hair at all. Duncan Good, you wouldn't call it real hair. It's rabbit fur. That's what it is. Stuck on the head like that. Looks like it's wearing a parka. <laughs> oh, great. I bought a blow-up train spotter here. What the hell am I going to do with this? Thanks very much, Crumps all. Take it easy.